from uh, Brisbane today and uh, in this episode we have a very special guest and not just one we have two very special guests Linda such a pleasure meeting you again hi righto now just so you know guys Linda is leaving today she's leaving Brisbane and she's going around this big island I'm just doing a little drive please tell us more just a little tiny drive I thought I'd do um, so I looked it up I, I live in, come from Berlin 16,000 kilometers away and I thought what the heck, I'll do a 16,000 kilometre drive, so I'm driving around the island. Beautiful. So, what else would you like me to tell you? I don't know. Uh, you are going uh, anti-clockwise? Anti-clockwise. You're going around Tasmania as well. Are I'm you going, going to, well, yes, I'm hoping, I've got my, my, my trip booked to Tasmania. That's Australia, includes Tasmania. Beautiful. So, yes. It's good not to leave Tasmania out. No, I think Tasmania's an important part, and I noticed that they have got quite a few charges there, so I thought, I may as well go um, and include that on the on the tour of Australia. I think it's an important. You you told me a nice secret that you, your trip is quite musical, and you have a quite a music uh, some musical <laughs> instruments in the car. Please oh, tell yes. us more. You, what, oh, no. what do you play? <laughs> um, several instruments. Okay, so my first instrument's guitar. I didn't bring that. So my principal instrument is bassoon. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm the I'm a bassoonist for the Hinterland Concert Band. And I play trombone with the Beanley Brass Band and Gold Coast City Brass Band. And I play euphonium for Tweed Coast Band. Wow. So I've actually got the trombone, the euphonium and the bassoon in the car and almost nothing else. <laughs> so guys, those of you who will be meeting Linda on the trip, uh, that will be quite a musical trip. Uh, you will be, I know you'll be rehearsing with some groups around. Yes, uh, um, I, because I'm, a, I'm quite an introvert, I find it hard to meet people. So. Um, I actually reached out to, to Toka mm -hmm. on, the, on the Facebook page and quite a few people replied that they would love to meet me, which is Brilliant. really exciting. Um, and I suddenly thought, well, I'm a band member, I may as well contact all the bands. So I actually went to the Bands Association website and I contacted every single band and that I was going to be near and every single one but one said, please come. In fact, I'm playing this weekend a concert in Townsville. Wow. <laughs> Please so, tell us what inspired this exciting trip and how did you get to electric cars? Um, well, I, I have a very, had a very um, economical car. Uh, I believe in trying to be good to the environment. Mm. Uh, so my, I was actually going to buy a hybrid car. Then I found the first hybrid car was actually less economical than the car I ended up buying, which is a, a, a smart roadster. Mm. Little, little, little tiny, not the 4.2, the, the roadster, the convertible. Yeah. And I had that car for oh, 15 geez. years. Yeah, for 15 years. I love it. But how much did I drive in that car? 43,000 uh, 43, kilometers in 14 years. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> Not very much. Yeah, that tells a lot. Well, I loved it. I loved driving it. Um, but that, that car was sort of time to change. Mm -hmm. And I looked around and the BMW i3 came out. And I decided to get the BMW i3, the Rex, because I have a bit of range anxiety. And the very first day I picked it up from Brisbane, I drove to Sydney. <laughs> Brave, yeah. Which was a bit exciting because there's, you can't charge it anywhere at that time. Yeah. So I had to stay overnight, half at Nambucca Heads, and then I could go on to Sydney. Mm -hmm. um, and I loved that car so much, I bought, I gave that one to my father, bought another car for myself, um, and I hated that car. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of issues with it, and BMW didn't, didn't deal with me properly. So I looked around and Tesla, I had a reservation on Model 3 and I made the mistake of doing a test drive in the S100 and that very day I bought the car to drive test drive. So, so what we, else? We would be standing in front of the cars but the weather it's is not the best so we thought we will do it with this nice backdrop here. <laughs> I know there is a lot of people who would love to meet you on your way and uh, where will you be sharing your trip with those who follow you? Any um, social media or...? I have got a Facebook page, I'm sorry I'm not very good at social media um, and that Facebook page is called Tesla 80 Day Challenge. Ah, so it's 80 days that you allowed yeah. yourself for the trip. Yeah. Brilliant. Why did I pick 80? It just sounded nice. <laughs> and I actually had to spend a lot of time 
planning out that I could actually make it in 80 days and still have a good time, yeah. still enjoy some of the places. So, um, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like Ooh. to invite in a pioneer in travels around Australia in electric cars, Sylvia Wilson. Hello, Sylvia. <laughs> Hello, nice meeting you again. Yes. And you've met uh, Linda yes. as well. Yes. Great to have Good you here, ladies. See another girl going around Australia. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I, I would like to say, my guru. <laughs> inspiration to so many. Yes. Absolutely. Sylvia, if there was, uh, and for those of you who don't know, Sylvia has travelled around Australia. Was it last year? Last year. Tell about us more. Four months ago. Yes, it was um, May June last year. April yes. May June last year. Did but I went it? much more slowly than uh, Linda's going to go. I took my time and I was on holidays. Mm -hmm. So she's going to really push it a bit harder. Maybe Linda she... will stretch it a bit. Yeah. No. No. The good thing is that I've noticed since I went around that there are a lot more facilities mm -hmm. on plug share yeah. where you can charge. So things are inch by inch getting better mm, yes. uh, for the infrastructure, but there still needs to be a lot more. There. Yeah. As long as you've got your adapters, you'll be fine. Lots of adapters. I have six adapters. Are they in the front? In the in the yeah. front. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. If you uh, had uh, another opportunity, would you do that trip again? Oh yes. Oh yes. Yes. Oh definitely. Yes. But I'd probably go a different sort of ways. You know, mm -hmm. always try a different road. Do a bit of pioneering. Yes. Maybe more inland. Uh, yes. Depends. I don't know. Yes. We'll see. Yes. If there was three major tips you would like to share with Linda, what would they be? Expect things to go wrong, because they will, and they'll go wrong several at a time. Not just one thing, but you'll have a really bad day and six things will go wrong. It'll be fine. You'll be right. Just know that eventually you'll run out of bad things and tomorrow will be good. <laughs> and. Um, Sometimes you get to a place that you think is going to have a certain charging ability and it won't have it. It'll be out of order or there'll be a grumpy man running the show or <laughs> so things like that happen and, uh, or you're tired and late and everything's muddy or dirty. Or, that's when it tests you. <laughs> did you get any flat tyre on the way? I did. I had a flat tyre in Canberra. It's just a screw in the tyre. Right. Have you got a spare tire? Yeah. Uh, Cubist tire repair kit, easy. Yeah. Done in 10 15 minutes, but that's all right. You help me. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, I'd like to thank you because you are inspiration to many who will come, uh, who will go in your footsteps, and there will be more and more people, and there's already, there already is. Yes. As a matter of fact, you've told me that Richard from Outback Tesla is in Brisbane tonight. He's arriving in Brisbane tonight. Yeah, and um, a couple of others have done it. One family has done it since I did it, and another chap from Perth has done it. I don't know, probably others. I think there's about 12 or something have done the Nullarbor now, so. I actually looked at the, the EV side. Really I think there's lovely. seven that have done. No, there'll be more than that, because seven have well, done it when I did it, so. Well, that have, that have actually registered to do Oh, it. I see, yeah. okay, yes. It's not hard, the Nullarbor is easy. Well, I'm not worried about the Nullarbor, I'm actually worried about the Northwest Australia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the longest stretches are between Mount Isa and uh, Catherine, and then across to Broome. Yeah. Those are your long, and maybe down south of Broome a bit. So, they're long days. If there is a challenge, please do share what you need, and I'm sure there will be plenty of people will, willing, more than willing, to help. Yeah, so that's, that's why we are here to. I'm not actually all that worried. I'm just Probably a little one, one hint is really don't go too fast, no. and if you're worried, slow down. Yeah. Slow right down. Yeah. Don't worry how many trucks and caravans go past you because you'll get there if you slow down, and also you won't hit the roofs and things. Well, I'm not driving at night. And I avoid the night time, yeah. early morning, late afternoon, not good. So, brilliant. That's when the animals come out. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck, thank have fun. You. No, thank It'll you so great. much. That's really wonderful. She'll thank be you. right. Thank you, it's been a pleasure, ladies. Thank you, Sylvia, for thank being you, here in, in Brisbane. Pleasure. Please nice say hello to, to Richard if you see him. I will do. Yes. And Linda. Thank you, Rado. All the best. Thank we'll you. keep in touch. Thank you. There is Good so luck. much happening in this country about electric vehicles, and uh, this is why we are so grateful that we can uh, share these moments with uh, people like these two ladies doing a great thing for those who will be buying the next car as an electric vehicle. Enjoy. 
So we are just seeing off our friend Linda in front with her Model S and we have Lawrence behind us with white another S and we have Chris with us with BMW i3 so it's actually one, two, three, four of us four cars doing the convoy to Kuroi today to see Linda off on her big trip also if you are not aware Tesla has changed the referral program currently they are more generous they are offering seven and a half thousand kilometers worth of supercharging with the Tesla car so if you would like to use that opportunity if you are sitting on the fence or not sure uh, you, are, you will be getting actually 6,000 kilometers more free supercharging if you purchase your Model S, Model X or Model 3. Feel free to use our referral code that I'm posting uh, below this video and uh, on the screen here. And if, you, if it's your very first time on this YouTube channel, thank you for watching these videos and uh, feel free to click on the subscribe button and on the bell notification so YouTube will send you notifications of our future and upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.